Hello YouTube world, welcome back to the workshop. Anybody regular viewer on my channel know last week I did a bit of a, bit of a glue up with a lovely piece of sported birch stroke beach. Um, and this week I thought I'd do the same again, I was quite pleased with it, it was a very nice effect at the end. I've got this lovely piece of sycamore, just a off cut of a log. Um, I sealed the ends up with, this is, uh, at the time I was um, under coat in the workshop door and I come across this wood, brought it back and I put it on there and I put PVA glue and um, cling film on that end and it seems to have worked very nicely because it stopped it splitting and there's sick more of the wood that's not prone to splitting uh, it's probably about four years old now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it and I'm going to put some inserts and what I've got is some wood here and I think that might be a piece of a roco. I'll have to sand it down on that side, it's a very rough cut. And I've got some pieces of really nice, this lovely grained oak. Beautiful grain in there. The sycamore on its own is quite a bland wood, it's very pale, very white. Uh, a lot of wood turners use it a lot for colouring. Uh, somebody said to me one time if you put colour on ash, you enhance the grain. If you put colour on sycamore, you enhance the wood, because it is quite plain. But I'll tell you what, you sand it down, it's got to be one of the smoothest woods when you sand it all up. It's so incredibly smooth, it's unbelievable. Uh, but as I say, quite white, quite bland. So I'm going to try and break that up with some inserts. So stick around, see what I do, and uh, see how I do it. When I cut my wood last week, my inserts, I did notice afterwards that this table had dropped down slightly and the wood that I was cutting was a slight wedge on it, slight taper on it. So I've just put a square on there just to make sure that that's absolutely spot on square now. So I don't got to worry about that. And what I want to do is cut a triangle. So this is going to be my bowl. And what I want to do is cut a triangle out of there something like that and then another one and there like that and then we'll probably cut that across there and then I'll put my inserts in there and inserts in there inserts in there inserts in there and inserts in there because what I'm hoping is whatever these are I haven't got to be too precise about cutting them because once you've taken them out and you put your inserts in, they should just slot straight back in again. And the same with that. So let's give that a go. changed the piece of oak that I was going to use uh, the piece of seed there wasn't enough of it and it wasn't deep enough either so I had a route round in my wood store and I found this block of oak and um, as you can see I'm just slicing this up on the bandsaw and just cutting it so I've got enough inserts to complete the job Okay, here's my piece of sycamore. These are my pieces ready for glue up. And I thought I was going to be able to glue it all up in one go. 
but I can't because I've got those into there and that into there that into there and that into there and ideally what I want is a 45 join on there uh, I think what I'm going to do is glue that separate like that and then cut 45 on there after they're glued up but this one I can glue up that's it, I'll glue that clamp that all together right so that's the assembly stronger clamps on there. That's good, it's got a really good joint through there. And I'll just do the other one separately. I'll get back to you once I've done that. Well, that's all glued up. Uh, I just need to get some clamps on there now. Uh, that does look a little bit like Frankenstein's monster at the moment. But once that's all glued up, I'll get the back on the bandsaw and cut the circle out. It shouldn't look too bad. So uh, let's get that clamped up now. Leave that overnight. Let that dry up. Well, that's been left overnight. It's all clamped up. Let's take the clamps off and see what we've got. Too bad at all. I'm quite pleased with that. That was the original centre of the wood. That should stay because I'm still only going to have from there to there and from there to there. So I'll just recheck that centre and get that over on my bandsaw and cut it up. I'll get back to you. Okay, so that's been over on the bandsaw. Doesn't look a lot better now. I've got all those clamps off, get it all cut up. Let's get it up on the lathe and get it turning. See what we can do with it. So I finally got down to a really nice shape. I've put a, a tenon on there for to turn that round. That's my foot on there. I'm just going to get a sharpen my chisel and give it another cut up there. Got some ridges in there that need to be taken off. Some tool marks there. And then we get that sanded down, get it turned around. So I've sanded that down to 320. And now I'm going to put some sand and sealer on there. You shouldn't see too much difference in the sycamore, but I'm hoping the cedar and the oak should come alive. Tell you what, the sycamore, you cannot beat that for sanding. That's incredibly smooth. That looks lovely. A bit of wax. You see a fantastic shine come on that piece of wood. That's absolutely gorgeous it is. Beautiful. And the fun part, turn it around and hollow it out.
needs to be 50mm deep, which is pretty much what it is now. I've got quite a nice even wall thickness down there and a nice transition to the bottom. So I've got some tool marks in there, so I'm just going to go and sharpen my chisel and then come back and just give that a nice clean up cut through there. I'm going to sand that up I'll get back to you. Well, that's all sanded down to 400. Let's put some sand and seal on there. The Beautiful shine come on there straight away. Alright, just turn that around there. I'll take the tenon off the back and we're all done. I've taken the tenon off the bottom and I was just looking at it as a finished article and I noticed a lot of the inside of the grain of the oak. The wax has sat down in there and it goes all white and milky colour. And if you run a heat gun over it, it just melts the wax and it disappears. So what I think I'm going to do, because that's where that grain is so open through there, and down through there, it's a shame I've taken the off because I'd have sanded it then and redone it, but the, um, I think I'd get away with it. I'm going to um, get some wax with the gold in it the embellishing wax and go over there and, and buff it up with a mop and see how we get on with that. So this is a gold embellishing wax. I'll just put it on my cloth and just go over that oak. So I've got my Jacob's chuck in there. <coughs> Buffing mop in there. Yeah, I like that very much. Oh, there we go, YouTube rod. Finished article. Your name begins with T. Perhaps this is the one for you. I'm quite pleased with that. That did go quite well. There's a lot of faffing about with it though. But it's something different. And that's turned up really well. I am really quite pleased with that. And I love the way that gold. The camera's picking that up. I love the way that gold sat down in that oak. That was very difficult to turn because the different hardnesses of those wood. The sycamore is quite soft. That oak is very hard, and that as it comes around, your chisel's constantly hitting different uh, resistance. And it's very difficult to get it down, but as I say, quite pleased with that. Something a little bit different. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. If you did enjoy it, you want to see videos like it, please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell button, make an old man happy. And I will see you all again next week. You take care of yourself. Bye-bye.